Hello, good to see you. Welcome back to Non-League and Beyond with YMFFC. It's episode 62. Let's end with a win. When I say let's end with a win, because I've played so many games off camera and I've got to the last game of the season. Yeah, there's a reason for that and I'll run over that later on. So let's just run over the games that you've missed. So the Leicester, the West Ham game, not great. I've been fiddling with the tactic, trying to sort it out. Wolves, a point here. Southampton, we won here 4-2, which is great. Lost against Everton 2-1. Lost against Chelsea 4-0. Beat Sheffield United in the FA Cup third round 4-1. West Ham 0-0. Lost heavily against Arsenal 7-1. Tommy Dalder gets sent off. And I went back to the Weymouth of six. Beat Stoke. Drew against Blackburn. And I thought I might come back for this West Ham game. But I said, it's only the fourth round. We'll come back afterwards when we get to the fifth round. So, you know, because I don't want to play too many games. If we're going to get through to this FA Cup, I don't want to play too many games, too many episodes. So I thought, right, we'll do one more and I'll come back for the fifth round of the FA Cup. Yeah, we got knocked out against West Ham. 3-2. Lost against Tottenham. Lost against Newcastle 2-1. Lost against Liverpool 7-1. And we're in February then and we've got a two new players. If I show you the new players, two very, very good players as well. I'm just going to call this guy Murphy. 18 years of age. I know he's not the tallest. He's only five foot ten. But just look at his attributes. He looks absolutely phenomenal. And he's cost and look at his now future value now. Or his current value. Uh, 59 to 91 million. So much potential. The best central defender at their club at 18 years of age. And he cost me 8.75. Could raise to 10.75. And that was it. All the money had gone. And then Rudd for 5.75 million. He's from Ukraine. He's 21 years of age. He's only six foot tall. Uh, his value now is between 30 and 35 million. I didn't have any money, but you know when you can ask the board and you say, I desperately need this player. Please, can you find the money? And they did. 5.75 million. Like I say, I really like the look of him. He's got such good potential. He's a good goalkeeper. He has conceded a few, but I put that down to the tactic that I have changed later on. But we'll get to that. Got to get to a lot of things. So, uh, where were we? So, lost against Leicester. Lost against Man City. Played a friendly for Dynamics against uh, Hearts. Beat Leeds, and this way, this time, we're playing the Weymouth 7, and I've changed up a bit again. This time, I'm sticking with this Weymouth 7. I like the look of it. It's good. We're in it as well. We're in games. Very competitive. Very even game, but we come out on top. In this game, against Crystal Palace, we lost, but very even. Very Rather than getting dominated, and we've been getting dominated so much. Even the games that we win against Middlesbrough 3-2, they are having more shots it's just we're not dominating games, but I find all getting in games. But this one against Man United, 4-1, we beat them. Uh, very even, 18 shots apiece. Every time we had a chance, we seemed to score. And that's what I like. That's what I wanted. And then Villa, 2-1 here. And same sort of thing. One more shot. But it's better than having more shots than the opposition. We're actually, like I say, we're controlling games. We're in games. I feel a bit more positive about this tactic. It is called the Wayne of Seven. Even though a few of our players don't like playing with each other. And I know a little few things have changed around. Defensive midfielder on support now. I've taken a lot of instructions off. I had too many instructions on, I think. Defensive midfielder on attack, inverted wingers. I took a lot of instructions off here. Uh, I've, we're still balanced. What else have I changed? I've gone for drop off. I've took get stuck off in, off. Uh, took drop off, put drop off more on. Uh, there's so much to say what I've done. I'll put underlap on the left, underlap on the right on. But be more disciplined on. I took off work, the ball into the box. Yeah, I changed a few things about and I feel this and the goalkeeper as well. He was on support and now he's a sweeper keeper on defend. I feel it's had a good effect and I'm hopefully today you will see that on camera. It is the last game of the season. We're playing against Bournemouth who are 17th. They do have something to play for else they're going to get relegated on the same points as Blackburn. We're on 42 points. Not really great. I did really want 10th place. That's what I thought at the start of the season. That's where I thought we could get to. But no, 42th place, 14th. If we win today, we could maybe go up to, depends if Everton lose by a few, 12th. Southampton, Stoke and Blackburn and Bournemouth. And absolutely, and even Middlesbrough, absolutely terrible. We're on 30 points. 42 points is enough. It's more than enough. We're quite a bit clear. Anyway, they need to win. We're not playing for anything. I need them to show off this tactic and hopefully show you how good it is. Rudd, Stewart, Paskey, Murphy. I'm going to struggle to say that name. 
uh, Petition, Brunst is going to be playing defensive midfield and support. Lang, Dominguez, Fuentes, Saduku, and Nola up front. Let's get into this, Tony. Let's hope we will show up today. I'm sure we will. Like I say, we've been in games. We've been very, very even games. Because before I changed up this tactic, we uh, have been really, really poor. Even the games that we win, we get lucky with some goals. Man, that's not what I want. I don't want to get lucky. I want to be the better team. I want to be the better team. Hopefully today. Look, it's not me. Two shots already. We're having more shots than the other team. That's was great. We should be Bournemouth. I say Bournemouth. They're terrible. They're going... Well, no, they might not go down, but they could go down. Let's just put some more pressure on them. Pile it on. That can't be Mane, ex Liverpool player. I'm sure it's not. He'd be far too old by now. We're a fair few seasons in the season. Bournemouth down the left-hand side. The first highlight of the game could have been a penalty. Instead... It's, it's a goal. You're going to have to trust me on this way of seven. It, it, it's been good. Not played too many games of it, but I'm sure it is good. I hope it's going to be good. I've got all, everything crossed that next season, this will be the tactic we're going to go with. A few new extra players in. We've got a new goalkeeper, new central defender. And this youngster, this 18-year-old central defender, he was a wonder kid. Absolute wonder kid. It's changed now. He's no longer a wonder kid. And it's the same old story, Tony. We, we, we're getting uh, thrashed. 2-0. Maybe, maybe this Wayne of seven is not. Five shots, two on target. I just... Just... Because Bournemouth got something to play for. And we've not got anything to play. Well, we've just switched totally off. That would have went 2-3-0. That would have been absolutely... We're going to go positive. Two... Sh I mean, look. More possession. More shots. Just we can't defend for... For Toffee, we're absolutely shocking. Much better performance. Uh, we, uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I was I was hoping, click record, for we've done a really good win against Maynard. Some other good wins. We're in games. I'm feeling positive about it. And now it's the same old story, Tony. Same old story. We lose. And the one, the kid, that's no longer a one kid, is not having a great game. We're going to put Brunston right back. Put DiMaggio on. And what else am I thinking? We need to create something. Oh, this Underhill guy that I got on loan, he's, I don't think I'll make this permanent. He looks looks okay. We got we can buy him if we want to, but the one biggest one is Pelleggi. I don't know whether to take that up when we finally get our money in. He's got a 6.75 million optional fee on him. He's good. It's good. Eight goals in 21 games. And that's another thing. Strikers wise. They're just not scoring enough goals. Our top goal scorer in all competitions scored 14 goals. This is the, this is the end, last game of the season. That's not enough. That's not enough. And it's an oiler as well. So I'm taking him off. We'll go positive. Try and get back into this game. Let's have a look at the league table. Bournemouth with a win here. They'd definitely be safe. Like I say, we've got nothing to play for. Other than Pride, last game of the season, and to get a win on camera, because I feel it's been a while. Plasky on the ball. Brings the ball forward. Finds Lang. Underhill. Finds Pelleggi. Nearly. Nearly finds him. Just, just nearly. We've got to be careful. One thing I am worried about the youngster, he's a bit, like I say, he's a bit short. He's only five, five foot ten. Um, and that is a worry. That is a worry. But he's 18 years of age. We can grow up to your 21. So hopefully he'll grow a couple of inches more. At least get to six foot. That'd be fat. What the? 3-0. That was absolutely pathetic. Just trying to see. Was it Brunt's that right back now? The problem? No. Joanda Fuentes with a mistake. Trying to pass it back. What an absolute fool. The keeper is having a mare. Rudd. Griffiths, come on, mate. Oh, my God. Wow. It's not really gone to plan, is it? It's not really gone. We're going to finish 16th with 32 points. I can't remember any points we got last season. At 32 points. 42 points. I can't remember... Oh chance i can't remember how many points you had last season but i don't know if that's even an improvement on last season i forget what many points we had league position i know is definitely worse we were definitely higher in the league last season 
four nil. I'm going to need a really, really big transfer window special. Really big transfer window special. I already know the positions that I need. I need a top tier left back, a top tier right back, a top tier central defender, a top tier striker that's going to score a lot of goals. I just need our reputation to grow. A three-star club's not enough. And Wonder Kids is okay. But I, I think I need it here and now. I need a player that's got it all now. But I just need the money. I think I need about 100 or 200 million. Be lucky to get about 20 million. But at least the ground extension will be done and we'll be back into our own ground. Underhill. Just have a go, mate. Bend it. Just not enough bend on it. Right. Yeah. 14th, 42 points. Fairly even game. More possession. Which what I've been talking about, what I want. Which uh, rather than getting dominated. But we couldn't make anything happen. We were absolutely terrible. What a way to end this season. Not really, is it? Well, let's, let's take a look at our budgets for next season. Let's have a look at that. Maybe that might cheer me up a bit. Is it, Are they in yet? Finances? They're not in yet. Bear with me. I'm going to click on a bit and then we'll get to the budgets. Well, the budgets finally did come in. We got 49 million to spend. Not quite 100 million, but 49 million. We should be able to do some damage with that. Like I said, though, we just need the reputation for the club to grow. Three star is not great. Hopefully, they might give us another extra half a star for finishing 14th in the league. I hope they do. It's not been a very good season. It's not been very good. Okay, we've been clear of not getting relegated. That's been fine. But that's not been the target of the season. Finishing 10th has been the target. I feel like I've let you down. I feel like I let everyone down. But hopefully, hopefully next season we will do much better. And I will I will come back with a transfer on the special where we need special players. Players that can play now. The here and now. No more wonder kids or youngsters. We want it here and now. Thank you. And I will see you in the next episode, which will be a transfer on the special. See you then.